the township of Denali. Uh, here's a few photos of a few of the things that were there. Um, the cannery is um, quite a well-known restaurant thing to go and eat at, and it's supposed to be good. We met up with uh, one of the locals down here who on his land had the original bakery and some sort of storehouse which was built out of the sandstone blocks, all hand cut by the convicts. Um, that was pretty good to look at because uh, it's not an open thing to anyone. So the owner showed us through. He's even looking at um, getting it started up again. Someone actually cooking bread and selling. In this video we're uh, travelling from Denali, going through the Denison Canal um, into Norfolk Bay, where we're going to show a couple of anchorages that we went to. Um, Denison, Denison Canal is uh, quite a doable thing. As long as you hitch your tides right, you pick Hobart tide times, get the high tide and add another 2 hours 20 minutes to it, which will give you slack water, which we got right here. That's quite accurate and easy to do. So we enter into Norfolk Bay and our first stop today what we're heading to is Madonna. So as you can see we're actually in the bay here already scanning around over Madonna area of the houses. We found Madonna very sheltered um, very weedy at the bottom has got a lot of grass and weed in it uh, most of the boats are moored down there but the good thing about um, Madonna and it was built using government funds and that uh, by locals as well as other people they built a huge pontoon jetty type arrangement with a big T end on it and we went down to that because we had to pick up family and tied up down there we only just had enough depth at low tide there we're probably sitting in the weeds a bit but um, we're still floating okay Madonna was um, we stayed there for a couple of nights um, we found it quite handy there. Um, they have a roadhouse just up the road, not far away, about a kilometre from where the jetty is. And you can get most things in the roadhouse. They also do takeaways, sell fuel. And just up the road from the roadhouse is the honey place. Uh, there's a like a commercial beekeeper up there. So we managed to get some honey there as well. So during our time there uh, with the family as well as um, a couple of days that were there um, we also met a few of the locals who bought their boats in some were working on them, some were just bringing them to tie up and go out for the day so that was quite interesting as well uh, Graham's jetty which is in the bit of video here um, was built by the locals as well as uh, government support and is shown on the nameplate or plaque as shown in the photo to give you an idea where the funding come from. So our next lot of photos here is of Lagoon Beach where we anchored. Um, Lagoon Beach obviously as seen on the photos, there is a lagoon up behind the sand dunes. And this place is absolutely loaded with wildlife. While in there having to walk around, the animal tracks are everywhere. As you can see in the photos. Um, even confusing the dog, as you can see. 
but it was a nice place to have a walk around in and uh, a bit of a change to just walk in the beach the next uh, video I've got going here is um, we were down at the Cascades or Cascade Beach down the bottom end of Norfolk Bay and scanning around up here we actually scan around down to the Narrows as you can see that goes right out to the outer side of the island and up into Tirana this next little waterway that's where the Anzu is and um, we're on the other side of that down in Cascade Beach um, interesting anchorage uh, I guess very shallow there the tide goes out a long way but it's all good sand there good anchorage And so while we're here, um, we've gone ashore a couple of times, but um, we went down on the western end of the beach where the creek comes out, as you can see in the video, and uh, had a walk ashore. Uh, one thing is you got to watch around there, obviously, nice shallow water to drag the boat around in, but... Um, Plenty of stingrays, they're bull rays, as you'll see in the video. And uh, yeah, another place where wildlife sensor gets around. Plenty of footprints I'd found along the creek bed. It's also a uh, camping type area. Um, where people come down we've seen some people that are on holidays and that own the land down there and we're camped and been out fishing and that concludes the video for Norfolk Bay area um, hope you find it interesting <laughs>